In today's era, lot of patients suffering from the adverse drug reaction of the drug due to irrational use of the medicine. So, what is rational use of medicine? So, welcome pharmacomania. We will see what is rational use of the medicine. Rational use of medicine defined in simple word like a right prescription, right dose, right duration and right patient at lowest cost. That is the simple right patient, right prescription, right dose, right duration and right diagnosis with lowest cost. According to WHO, rational use of the drug required the patient receive medication appropriate to their clinical need in proper dose meet with their own individual requirement of the adequate time and at the lowest cost to them. Some criteria for rational use of the medicine like appropriate selection of drug, procurement of the drug, distribution are precursor to the rational use of the medicine. So some criteria for the rational use of medicine are appropriate indication like we have diagnosis for prescribing the medicine. After uh, confirmation of diagnosis, appropriate medicine, we have to choose appropriate medicine in appropriate dosage and correctly dispense. After dispensing, we have to inform properly. We have to instruct each and every aspect of the drug to the patient and we have to, we have to follow up the patient for the adherence. In this picture, we have to make some perfect diagnosis. After diagnosing the patient, we have to prescribe. So first choose the drug. Which kind of drug we have to prescribe for our patient? If patient is selection of patient and selection of the drug according to the patient need. If patient is having um, any allergic reaction, so we have to uh, ask for detail in the allergic reaction and any contraindication for that. So we have to ask for this cautiously and then prescribe the drug according to our patient. Then dispensing the drug. After dispensing, we have to instruct each and everything when and how many time patient has to take this medicine and last is the adherence. After prescribing and dispensing, we have to make the patient adherence by follow up the patient. Now reason for irrational use of the drug. Like there are so many reasons to irrational use of the drugs like lack of information. If sometimes patients are not able to describe the disease or uh, give the proper history. Now role model like teachers and seniors. Some, sometimes we are following our teacher or senior. This is the one of the reason to prescribing irrational use of the medicine. The lack of diagnostic facility. Sometimes in peripheral center we are not able to um, confirm the diagnosis by due to lack of diagnostic facility and sometimes we are prescribe um, the medicine which is not uh, it is irrational. Now, patient from the demand. Sometimes patient themselves are demanding for particular drugs. So, it is also one kind of the irrational use of the drug. And due to in civil hospitals, there are a lot of patient and patient load is very high. So, sometimes doctors are not able to give enough time to each and every patient. Promotion promotional activities of pharmaceutical industry. Sometimes pharmaceutical industry reinforce to prescribe their medicine and um, so uh, this is the basic reasons for the prescribe, prescription of the irrational medicine. Examples of irrational use of the medicine like uh, use of drug when none is needed like antibiotic prescription of the antibiotic in the viral fever where antibiotic is not needed in each and every fever. Non-specific diarrhea. In non-specific diarrhea if we are prescribing antibiotic it is the irrational use of medicine. Then 
कंपल्सिव को को प्रिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द विटामिन एंड टॉनिक समटाइम डॉक्टर्स प्रिस्क्राइब विटामिन एंड टॉनिक simultaneously with the antibiotic so it is not necessary to prescribe vitamins and tonic every time use of drugs not related to diagnosis like ampicillin and ciprofloxacin in, in any kind of fever proton pump inhibitor in any abdominal pain these are the irrational selection of wrong drug like tetracycline ciprofloxacin for pharyngitis beta blocker for anti hypertensive for patient of asthma prescribing ineffective or doubtful efficacy like antioxidants cough syrup <coughs> oral cirrhosopeptides for the injury or swelling <coughs> sorry <coughs> examples of irrational use of medicine are incorrect route of administration like injection when the drug can be given orally incorrect dose either dose is under dose or over dose especially in pediatric patient incorrect duration like prolonged post surgical use of the antibiotic or stoppage of antibiotic as soon as patient get relief and like example is the tuberculosis unnecessary use of the drug combination like ciprofloxacin and tenidazole in any case of diarrhea paracetamol and ibuprofen in as an analgesic unnecessary use of expensive drug like cheaper drugs are available equally and are equally effective but craze for the latest drug routine use are of the newer antibiotics are very costly and expensive for the patient unsafe use of drug like corticosteroid for fever anabolic anabolic steroid in children and use of single anti tubercular drug are very dangerous poly pharmacy without regard the drug interaction each pres prescription on an average 3 to 4 drugs are prescribed some may have as many as 10 to 12 drugs also which many are combination now impact of irrational prescription what will be the impact delayed or inability in affording relief cure of the disease more adverse effect due to polypharmacy prolongation of hospitalization causes loss of main days like people patients are on the daily wages they are losing their economic increase morbidity and mortality if patient is um, you know, prescribed polypharmacy then may drug interact chances of interaction are more so more morbidity or mortality emergency of microbial resistance may be uh, more prolonged use of the drug or multiple antimicrobial agent causes resistance occur financial loss to the patient and community due to patient are on daily wages or patient are uh, working so if patient is admitted or patient are on medicine maybe it is the cause of the daily wages or loss of the finance loss of patient confidence in doctor due to patient is not recovering or poly, due to polypharmacy interaction drug interaction or adverse effect can occur lowering of health standard of patient and community perpetuation of the public health problem these are the impact of irrational drug prescription so this is here is the this is cycle leading to irrational use of medicine patient is asking the doctor i take so many medicine because of my doctor prescribe them and doctor saying i prescribe so many medicine because my patient expect them information or instruction to the patient rational prescribing includes giving relevant and adequate information to the patient about the drug disease and necessary instruction to to be followed first of all is the effect of the drug which symptom is expected to disappear and when like antidepressant will take weeks to act whether disease will be cured or not like diabetes parkinsonism can only be ameliorated but not cured 
what happen if the drug is not taken as a choice like tuberculosis will worsen if patient is not taking on time or regularly and disease may prove fatal side effects there is considerable debate as to how much the patient should be informed about the side effect detailed description may scare the patient or discourage to taking the medicine while not inform to be negligence the side effect when it occur may upset the uninformed patient so communicating the patient so communicating the common side effect without discouraging the patient is a skill to be developed so instructions how and when to take the drug specially dosage form like inhaler transdermal patches may need a demonstration how long to take the drug when to come back to the doctor instruction about the diet and exercise if needed what laboratory tests are needed prothrombin time with coumarin anticoagulant leukocyte count with anti cancer drugs what precaution should be taken at the right at the time of the prescription writing what not to do conventional anti histaminic can cause sedation so at the time of driving it should be avoided metronidazole with drinking alcohol causes disulfiram like reaction so it should be avoided in alcoholic patient standing still after sublingual glycerol tyrannide causes postural hypotension so it should be avoided in standing position risk of allergy or any serious reaction in the end it should be ensured that the instruction have been properly understood by the patient now process of rational prescribing how will you prescribe the drug first of all establish a diagnosis at least provisional diagnosis then define therapeutic problem like patient is having pain infection so what kind of uh, management are you going to do like pain relief only symptomatic or cure the prevention of complication define therapeutic goal to be achieved next is the selection of the drug selection of the class of drug there are thousands of drug for the disease so we have to select the drug for the particular drug for the particular patient identify the drug first of all identify the drug on the uh, base on the efficacy safety suitability and cost and for the particular patient so these are the criteria for the prescription writing so decide the route of drug administration duration of the treatment considering patient's condition provide proper, proper information and instructions about the medication monitor adherence to the um, uh, medication for the compliance monitor the extent to which therapeutic goal is achieved like blood pressure lowering peptic ulcer healing etc so we can we have to monitor the patient modify therapy if needed and monitor any adverse effect or event that occurred then modify the therapy if needed conclusion drug use is usually the end of therapeutic consultation ensuring that the correct drug is given to the correct patient in high priority for all health professional we all have a duty and responsibilities to the public to ensure that the right drug is prescribed dispensed and taken medicine although public good are not ordinarily article of commerce improving drug use improve the quality of care and frequency of the lower cost thank you for watching the video